Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Guess what? It's the day after Christmas and we went to the Dollar Tree. Okay. We were in St. Louis bringing Aunt Sue home. She took us to the Field House, which is a museum. Um, the lawyer who, the Dred Scott case was a man who was uh, sued the federal government for his freedom, a slave who sued the federal government for his freedom, just a, a quick synopsis. And his fa his son, the father was a lawyer who, re who fought the case. His son was a poet um, who actually was an editor who his wife, when he died, po uh, published some of his children's stories and poems. So, with that being said, they have a little museum. We went there, it was so fun, it was so interesting. Then she took us to lunch at the Fountain on, the Fountain on Locust, I'm sorry, which is a beautiful restaurant. Um, it used to be like old soda fountain, I heard, that's what she thinks. It's sort of in an art deco, that's not what she said. Then she took us to the Fountain on Locust, which is a beautiful little lunch and like diner, bar, place, it was really nice. It has sort of an art deco feel. The food was fantastic and then we drove around to see some Christmas lights and we drove through Forest Park and we got to see where the zoo was and all the things. Um, and then Sharon and Aunt Sue went to the um, beer garden at Budweiser actually. They set up lights for Christmas. We didn't know about They have a restaurant in there we didn't know about so we have plans. We kind of staked out what we'll do next time. So that being said, we were in there uh, in St. Louis. We went to my favorite Dollar Tree, which is on Manchester in um, Warson Woods, W-A-R-S-O-N Woods, um, and we got some stuff. So Sharon's stuff is mixed in with my stuff, and I'll tell you when I get to each bag, what is what. So I found another autumn apricot candle. I know you can't smell it, and I want you to. It's this beautiful peach color. It is so like a combination between autumn and summer. You know, like the apricot, I feel like the peach this sort of summery color, I uh, call it, a summery smell, and of course the autumn touches. I got two of these, I'll only show you one though. I just thought they were beautiful and they were new and I never saw them before. But they have these candle holders that are already blinged out. So it looks like a tiny fish bowl that has these are they diamond wrap? Are they actually like... They look like they're actually crystals, but I can't really tell. Let me see if I put my glasses on real quick. I had my, I had my glasses ready. Yeah, it's like diamond wrap, so it's really pretty. And it's already done for you. And the glass sort of looks like handmade with like... It almost looks like bubble glass. It's warpy. So I just thought that was so pretty. Um, so, of course, I got a pair because I never just get one. I don't like one candle holders. I like symmetry when it comes to stuff. Unless it's in threes, and that's all another story. So, I got those. I found the some of the glass frames that were new. I saw some people have a couple, um, but I love them. Uh, don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet. I feel like I want them to go on my picture wall. Since I changed my couch into two chairs, I sort of have like an open space and I'm like, ugh, it looks open. They had this one and they're in black frames and they say, let me hold the, let me hold this up. This one says, can you see it? Nope, you can't really see it. This one says, bless this home with love and laughter. And this one I love, it says, our nest. And it's got the beautiful little laurel wreath there you go now you can see it really well and it's that same beautiful color green their ink is both like this beautiful color green um, of course you could DIY these you could scrape off the words the words are scraped from the inside you could scrape off the words and replace your own things um, but I just loved both of them the way they were and I I have a new buffalo check tablecloth that I got for Christmas um, and then I was like what placemats would go with it that are Christmassy that aren't just solid red because I used the solid red ones before I put the tablecloth down and then they were dirty so I was like I have black ones I only had four of the black with the glitter 
And then I had four of the black that look like chalkboards that say blessed. So I was excited to go find two more. And I did, I found two more. So I have a table, my table set for six for our holidays. And I was like, now I have six of these. I have six of the ones with the roosters on them, the plastic kind. And, uh, you know, I have six autumn ones now. I have six red ones. I, you know, I feel like I, I have what I need. I was excited to see black poster board. I've seen it, I've seen it one a long time ago and I haven't seen it in a really long time so you get five pieces of black oak tag poster board I just have for projects and stuff you know you never know um, okay so Sharon got some stuff this is Sharon's she got these uh, folders these portfolio folders they look beautiful they have foil and they look like um, agate almost they look like um, you know like minerals geodes and stuff and they're beautiful they're only foiled on one side but they're still very pretty and these beautiful purples and greens and honestly if I had to go pick her out folders I probably would have picked her those she got some binder clips you know she's a school teacher I told you guys she teaches eighth grade language language arts so she found this package of eight of ten binder clips they're sort of medium they're sort of medium sized and they're all black and then she found four magnetic clips she needs for her board. Um, she, um, I got some from Aunt, for Aunt Sue, the plastic kind, and she was like, I could use those. And she got them to hold posters and stuff on her board. She got a can opener because um, her Dollar Trees, which she has, you guys have been around for a while, you know, I've been to Vero Beach, they have four Dollar Trees in her town, and none of them have any can openers. So she was so excited to see this, um, so she picked one up. She's like, I just need a manual can opener. Um, I gave her the pineapple bag for Christmas, because she's a Mary Kay consultant, as most of you know, and I thought it would be nice to uh, put a little Mary Kay, uh, hostess package together or something because um, you know pineapples is the international sign of welcome so I thought that would be really cute so I gave it to her and then she was like um, I, you know I really liked it let me get another one so she picked up another one she also got some wax melts she picked up oh goodness the print is so little it is passion passion fruit coconut that one's easier to see tropical looks like tropical tropical blossom is the second one so it's the two different color two different you get six you get three of each kind and then this one is lavender and soothing eucalyptus and it's green and purple and you get six three of each kind so you guys know that there's different things at different Dollar Trees. Um, like I said, she's got a lot of Dollar Trees by her. Um, and you know, she comes and she sees different things. I'm gonna take her to the one here in Rolla because they have a really, really nice teacher section. Um, there's sort of a joke. I mean, she talks about getting lost in the teacher section. <laughs> she's like, I'll be in the teacher section if needed. Um, I picked up these two cutting boards I wanted to get a clear one and that's used for cutting boards but I've seen people use them in a few DIYs and I kind of was like well my mind will reel will like DIY you know DIYs be good but they're kind of this um let me show you the back let me show you the, the stickers on the back I'm sorry they are glass cutting boards um and I used a glass cutting board in my old apartment for a long time um but I liked that it was clear glass and I figured that could be really good for some DIYs I don't have anything in mind so um, you guys don't worry about that. But then they had this one for her, and Sharon's Kitchen's a coffee themed, but it's not, it's sort of like more modern than like, I don't know, some of the coffee stuff is older. So this is really cute, and I got her that towel. Um, if you've been around a while, it was sort of these really nice sackcloth towels that had printing on them. And this is sort of that, it goes with that theme. So it says a hot cup of coffee is the best way to start a day. And she doesn't even know I got her this yet, so. She's in the other room and it'll be a surprise. And she loves this like blue color and then it's got the gray background so I thought it'd be really pretty so I'm gonna leave that with her stuff so she can see it okay she was so excited at the Dollar Tree to find pumpkin spice Cheerios family size box to tell you the least um, this is 
one pound, 3.8 ounces, or 19.8 ounce box of pumpkin spice Cheerios. Doesn't expire until August of 2019. Um, and she got two boxes. She actually picked up a box for me and a box for Jim. And Jim loves it. He, she gave him two boxes last year. And he actually still has a box because though Jim loves pumpkin spice Cheerios, because milk doesn't agree with him as much, he can't eat a bowl of cereal every day. He would, he's like, I would, but I can't. So he still has them. Um, I should probably just eat them on him. That's what I should do. I probably should do that at this point. So I found lots of new things. Let me see if I can find it. Is this the rest of Sharon's? Yeah, let me, give you, let me show you the rest of Sharon. But she can take her stuff if she wants. She found Marvel Superhero Adventures Jumbo Playing Cards. And they have all like the little adventure, advent, Avengers on it. Like Avengers. Avengers on them. And they're really cute. They're just regular base to king kind of playing cards but they're jumbo. She found breast cancer awareness pencils. These are pink with ribbons on them. She found these beautiful books. These are our um, notepads. They're lined. I could show you inside. They're lined and they're absolutely gorgeous. They're holographic. Do you see that? This one says strong is the new pretty. And this was this one says little but fierce, and that is so her, <laughs> so her. She picked up a set of mini writing tablets in light blue. They're three and a half by five, which is about an index card size, but they're actually tablets where you peel a paper off. And then these we fought, we did. Let's be honest, we fought. I had them, I thought they were super cute, and then she was like, oh, but miniatures and your goddaughter, and I was like, okay, you can buy them. Um, they are Crayola colored pencils, and they are teeny tiny. Look how cute they are. Look how teeny tiny. And they're a set of colored pencils. There's eight. They had uh, pastel, bright and bold colors. Um, let's see. Classic and pastel colors. So let me hold them up together so you can see the difference. Look how tiny, they're like earrings. Look how tiny. I'm gonna open my package when I find it because I we found one more package of regular. I got, I got two more of my window cleaner. Um, this is my favorite glass and surface cleaner, streak free foaming glass cleaner with ammonia D. It's my favorite favorite. I use it for not just cleaning windows. I picked up another pair of reading glasses in 3.25. I have found myself doing more detail work and needing stronger for up close. I was sewing and trying to thread that needle again. <sighs> Never complain about getting old. So many are denied the privilege. Just have to keep telling myself that as my body changes. I never saw these cute socks in any of my stores so I had to pick them up for baby Luna when I go these say oh goodness hugs and can you see it says hugs in blue with purple writing and these ones are beautiful like pink with little tiny flowers on them but these ones drama queen I had to I had to and then this one has like a little crown on it I had to because she's my she is if you ever like followed her on Instagram you'd see she has such an attitude and I love it I love it I was really excited to find Robocop <laughs> sorry to say um, this is the unrated director's cut and I believe it's the I believe it's the new one on blu-ray yes it is the new one I got it for a Zala. Can you believe I got a Blu-ray for a Zala and a movie that was in the movie theater? I don't, it was a Zala. Sorry, that's my Liza Koshi impersonation. Um, I was happy they had letters. I bought two packages. So the wooden letters, 
um, that I had trouble trying to find at Christmas time. Um, they had two packages. I picked up two packages. Um, so if you've not seen these before, you get 26. You get one of each letter in the package. They're about an inch and a half to two inches high. You know, like probably inch and three quarters. Um, and they're really nice. Here's my package of Crayola mini colored pencils. So cute. So cute. It's cute. Hold on. Uh, uh. Look, it's teeny tiny. It's teeny tiny. Look. And what I just noticed, which is super cute, it's uh, on the top of the packages. Hold on. Let me just put them back in the right spot. Oh, come on, Jerry. Wasting time. On the top of the package, it's a picture of what looks like the top of the pencils. So cute. Oh, I was excited to find these. Um, I take a nasal spray for my allergies, and occasionally when I'm stuffed up, what I do is I take a Vicks inhaler, which is like this little tube that has Vicks in it, to clear out my passage so that the nose spray can actually go up it. And I was so excited they had a knockoff Vicks inhaler. Um, this is basically um, sort of eucalyptus vapor in there. It says, helps nasal passage open. Um, natural blend of essential oils with uh, refreshing vapors. So I don't know how it's going to be. I will definitely give you guys an update and let you know how it was. Um, let's see. I only see two of them, but I got three of these. For the first time in any of Dollar Tree I've ever been at, at the same time that I've been at the Dollar Tree, they had fabric napkins. I'd seen them hold in videos before, but I was excited to see them in mine. And I got this sort of neutral color, beige yellow. Um, they're nylon, they're not high quality, but they're pretty. Um, they look like this and they're kind of lopsided crooked, but for 50 cents, do you want something fancy? Because you get two per pack. Um, and I just thought they're so pretty, and I ended up getting six so I can have, well, three packages so I can have um, my service for six. And then the rest of the stuff in this bag is, I finally found the self-adhesive stencils in the alphabets and numerals. I love this font. I wish I could buy, I wish they had more. I would have bought one and sent them to all of you, I swear. Nobody will ever ask me again about lettering. You could just use the stencil. But I just thought this was so pretty. I've heard good and bad things about it. I think if you use the proper stencil brush with a lot, like almost no paint on it, it works well. They had self-adhesive diamond wrap in sort of a yellowy, gold tony. And I don't have this color, so I picked it up. I loved this. I was in the store and I can't figure out what the actual, I couldn't figure out what the actual picture was. It says notepad and pen. And I was trying to figure out what this picture was out of like flowers, but it's a deer head. The problem is the deer head is like white with flowers on pink, like pink flowers on a pink background. So it almost was like, what is that? But it's a deer head silhouette. And it comes with a really cute pen. And I was like, yes, okay. Yes, okay, for a dollar, sure. It'll be a great gift for somebody. Speaking of gifts for somebody, my, my best friend Sharon that's here loves blue butterflies. She loves butterflies in general. The the symbol the symbol the symbolic of the change, is that right too, Sharon? Yeah. Yeah, and the fact that light blue is her favorite color or whatever, but so she's got blue butterflies throughout her life and I found them in stickers. And they each have a little pearl in the center. And they also had white. So I said to her, would you like blue and white or just white, blue? And she's like, what are you talking about? I was like, never mind, I'll just get you both. So I'm going to put that with her stuff. Uh, yeah, she was with me and I bought a present. So what? Talk to my, talk to my husband. Um, for those of you who don't know or don't didn't realize, I was gifted $20 gift card to the Dollar Tree. And I was able. that's why I was able to go and get some things today. So I have two. So I picked up two willow wreath forms, one in large and one in small. Um, I believe they're 14 and, and 9 inches. Let me see. It does not say. It does not say either. But um, 
they almost fit perfectly inside each other. Let's see, I wonder if they're like, they were shaped the same. So if you ever wanted to double it up to make a bigger, thicker wreath, you could, but um, I got the small one and the large one. Now for a long time I wanted to make, over the summer I wanted to make a mold, actually over, when, when, when Luna, before Luna was born, I wanted to make a mobile from Dollar Tree products and I have bought the stuffed stars and I bought the string and I bought the, the things but I couldn't find a unicorn for the middle and I found other unicorns I found a stuffed unicorn head that had half a face and I found a, a rubber unicorn and none of them were satisfying to me and online at DollarTree.com they had you could buy a case of unicorns it wasn't one that you could take just four of but now here's the thing, the pink one doesn't, it's a unicorn. They ring up unicorns, but the pink one doesn't have a horn, unless you say that the top of her mane is a horn, but you see the blue one, as well as the yellow one that they had, which I didn't buy a yellow one, actually have a little horn in the top of their head. Now it's a little horn, don't get me wrong, but it's so cute, and they have little tiny um, lame earring, ears, not earrings, and there's though can you just not stop so I picked up the pink one because I love the pink one and then I picked up the blue one because it's a it's a unicorn actually so here's the other inhaler that we got and now I found my favorite um, dove I mean dial um, hand soaps this one is coconut water and mango and this one is Himalayan Himalayan Salt. That's what it says. And they're so clean smelling. I love them. Here is the other set of napkins. And I love this. It's, I know I love everything tonight, right? It's a notepad and it says gather and it's got wood grain. And I just absolutely adore it. Take it out of the package to show you guys real quick. Oh my goodness. I want a full disclosure. It's five to midnight. My six minutes to finish this edited, downloaded, uploaded, and it's not gonna happen, so you're gonna be late. So it looks like this. Oh, it's cute. And it's got a magnetic closure. You hear that? I'll just say it's all Sharon's fault. She wouldn't stop laughing. You heard me. Can't hear you. <laughs> First, we wouldn't stop talking when we went to dinner. We, st we stopped at a fast food restaurant, and then Jimmy called. Sharon was in the bathroom, and Jimmy called, and he's like, "Come or oh, texted me, coming home soon? And I was like, yeah, we're wrapping up now. And then we sat there and talked for another 40 minutes, so. Oh, well, sorry, Jim. And the last bag is my Christmas clearance. Yes, I got 15-inch wreaths they were just now 50 cents each because it's after christmas clearance but can i ask you a question can you not have a pine wreath all year i don't, I don't know why not it's green you'd buy a wreath form and you'd cover it with greenery anyway but i got two of them because that's all they had i found these cute little two little stockings they're cute they're like velvet on this side and they have little like glittery fabric up here and they were actually 25 cents each because they were 50 cents for two. I found silver pipe cleaners, because why not? You use the silver chenille stems, craft stems, whatever you want to call them. And you get uh, 45 and they were 50 cents. And I found these two ornaments. They had lots of things, but I didn't go crazy. I found these because I love them. This one says Happy Holidays, and it's got a pretty green sheer ribbon hanger and a tree on wood and this one says peace and it's got a cute little penguin on a green sheer ribbon as well and it's all glittery and stuff so i got that so that is everything 26 minutes it's going to take me a month of tuesdays to put this video up on the channel but i will do my very best so that's it everybody i can put this away in a second can't i um I do hope you all had a very Merry Christmas, happy, healthy, safe, and were able to go out today and enjoy some of the post-Christmas clearance. 
we still have more things to do tomorrow before our trip on Friday um, but we will bring you along as always okay um, if you have any questions at all leave them in the comments down below don't forget to share with friends and family anybody you know might be interested in seeing what they have in the Warson Woods Missouri Dollar Tree that's uh, in st. Louis um, on Manchester Road and if you haven't yet click subscribe and when you do a little bell will pop up when you ring that bell YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video and as always you take care God bless and we'll see you next time bye Bye from Sharon in the kitchen eating all the cookies. Same. Bye from Jim who got a new video game and headphones. You'll never see Jim again. He got new headphones, a new controller, and a new video game. So say goodbye to Jim. <laughs> Bye everybody. Bye. Okay. And I'll share that with you. It sounds like she's trying to get into the cookies. <laughs> Use it for cleaning everywhere. She's cracking herself up, I swear. What? Because I'm eating all the cookies with my slim tea. <laughs> She's eating all the cookies with her slim tea. <laughs> <laughs> Don't joke. It's like when you have Diet Coke when you slice the cake. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. I picked up another pair of three point. <laughs> I have to finish this. I'm never going to get done in time. You need to leave the room. Miss Miss Kaler, Miss Martinez, do you need to leave the room? Yes. <laughs> you need to excuse yourself. Uh, I'll be good. Promise? Okay. I'm not sending you to the principal's office. And uh, what was that? Oh. That was Sharon trying to figure out where the light switch was. Oh. Sharon, do you want the light that's over there by where you can see right now? The switch is at the end of the counter. Oh, okay. And what the heck are you turning my light off on me for?